Hi everyone. So in this video, I'll talk about an interesting topic, which is basically how can students of tier two and tier three colleges build a great career. So first of all, I personally believe that there are no tier two and tier three colleges in today's uh, world, which is a remote first world, because anyone can use internet and a laptop to learn any concept, especially when it comes to computer science, which will be the subject of this video. Uh, any anyone can literally do a quick Google search. There are hundreds of tutorials about various concepts which you want to learn, and you can uh, on your own at a at a self-paced uh, uh, learning environment you can pick up these concepts. So okay, so let's start. Basically, the college is divided into four years, right? I uh, I want to talk about the four how you should utilize each of these years to be able to build a great career. So let's talk about the first year. In the first year, you should focus on the fundamentals of computer science and programming, which means learn basics of constants, variables, for loop, while loop, right? Uh, functions, classes, objects, encapsulation, inheritance, right? Those kind of things. In the first year, do not focus on any advanced concept. Just focus on, like if I were to define the objective of first year of college, it should be being able to translate your thought into code. So if you have a problem statement in front of you, which you can think of a solution, you should be able to convert it into a working code, which covers sufficiently large number of test cases and works correctly on that. Right. Uh, many students reach out to me how they can start learning machine learning in the first year, how they can start learning app development in the first year. I kind of do not appreciate that unless you're already good at programming. I don't think it's a good idea. Uh, so it's it's always better to go step by step and do not jump levels. Otherwise you may fall. So my my suggestion is to spend time being able to write code worth of 300 to 500 lines in a correct manner. So pick up any book. Uh, there are many uh, books on fundamentals of programming and pick up any programming language. In the first year, don't bother that whether you should learn Python so that it will help you in placement because you are quite far from placement in the first year. You have enough time. So be it C++, be it Java, be it Python or any language which your college teaches you, absolutely pick it up and use that as the base to learn the concepts. Language is immaterial in this case. So that's how I would uh, suggest the utilization of first year. So solve a lot of problems, uh, read a lot of content, discuss with your friends, right? practice uh, a lot of questions online. Now comes the second year. So second year should be all about learning data structures and algorithms. So again, after you have learned how to write basic code, you will be very tempted to jump to machine learning, AI and stuff. Do not do that. Just focus on data structures and algorithms. So these are very, very important concepts. Under data structures, uh, you will learn about arrays, vectors, linked lists, uh, binary trees, right? Uh, uh, many other data structures are there, which are very extremely important. So many people ask me that if I have to eventually do web development, why is data structure required? This is as good of a question as uh, if I have to learn programming or computer science in my college, then why do I have to use uh, uh, physics, chemistry and maths as uh, the subjects in JE? So look, there has to be some backbone on top of which you can study. And the backbone has to be easy for wide enough people to understand. So not everyone may want a career in web development, right? Some people may want a career in web development, but not, not everyone. So that's why they've chosen data structures and algorithms as the backbone rather than teaching web development directly. And secondly, so data structures and algorithms will help you think. So there are some very, very interesting problems which you will find online, uh, which are built on top of concepts of like say dynamic programming of uh, greedy algorithms. So, so these are ways to make you think. These are ways to make you think about corner cases, efficient code, right? So that it does not take too much time correct code, right? So, 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 so that that's how you should look at data structures and algorithms. So there are many useful books. There is CLRS, which is Corman, the standard Bible of data structures and algorithms. I think that book is a little mathematical. So I would want to skip some portions of mathematics of that book, unless I'm very interested in that. And then there is Kleinberg Tardos. I think that is an amazing book, especially for algorithms portion, which is DP greedy, uh, divide and conquer. So that's one of the best book. I think what I really love about that book is it captures a lot of examples uh, as explanations because CLRS goes a little abstract. They will say this is how something something is done. But Kleinberg Tardos will actually apply it on a problem and 
take it let's say over a three four page description on that just one problem so it helps you visualize things better so you can pick up these two books in a combination and based on your comfort you may decide to drop one of them or use both of these books uh, also for practice i would encourage that you solve problems on spodge on code chef on code forces or participate in contest on uh, contest on top coder so these are some of the well known competitive programming sites uh, i personally remember doing first 100 problems on spodge so when i say first 100 i mean i sorted them by the number of people who have solved those problems correctly and then picked up first 100 problems over my winter vacations uh, after third semester right after third semester it's typically winter time uh, i know the college time uh has been screwed up because of covid but i'm telling what it how it was during my time so solving 100 problems will really really help because by that time you will have learned application of all the algorithms and data structures that you picked up as, as well as you will start building a mindset of writing correct code in these online judges what is interesting is that even if one corner case is not covered by you they will reject your solution or if one case is exceeding the time limit they will reject your solution so you are forced to think a 100% correct solution and you are forced to sort of think an efficient solution which covers all corner cases within the time frame of the question so i personally like these a lot they help you really think because see everybody can think but uh, only only like an efficient thinking happens when you have more constraint you start thinking deeper so these uh, these online judges really help you go deeper so uh, this is the second year of college this is how i would utilize it or i actually utilized it in third year you can pick up web development or mobile app development so the idea here is whatever you learn in building blocks of programming in the first year or in data structures and algorithms in the second year how do you apply it to solve a real world problem so let's say you can pick up a back end framework like django so i i learned django it's a python based web development framework uh, and it is quite good it is quite efficient it saves a lot of time because of a bunch of libraries supported in python and so you can pick up any tutorial online i i remember one of the tutorials on how to build a blog in django so in a blog you can typically post various articles put them on draft people can comment on those blog posts right so uh, one of the tutorial the one i'm referring to is called as django girls tutorial uh, i don't know why they kept the name django girls because boys can also Uh, learn from those that tutorial, that uh, tutorial. So uh, anyway, coming back, uh, what I'm saying is, pick up any one tutorial which leads to a project as an outcome. This is how Django Girls tutorial has been structured, and using th- that tutorial, build a project. Not only will you learn the concept very well, but also at the end of the tutorial, you will have a project to put on your resume. Uh, many students are concerned that uh, they should they go for certification. should they go for some professor endorsing that project look all of that is not required if you are applying to companies all they care is can you write code do you know the concepts can you solve problems under uh, a certain constraint right so all of that matters far more than whether you have a certificate has one of your college professor endorsed the project or not so forget about all of that just mention this on your resume that you have done so and so project and what is more important is being able to explain that to the interviewer if they ask something and you can't answer then clearly you, your certification or your professor endorsement will not help uh, in in getting you the job so learn the concept very well based uh, basis the tutorial and apply it same way there for android app development there are many courses online you can check udacity you can check coursera you can check anything you find online uh, i think there was there used to be lynda.com l y n d a quite popular uh in my time they got acquired by some company so uh you can you can pick up any tutorial in the remaining time of the third year uh, apart from web development and app development a couple of projects uh, in the remaining time you can pick up anything of your interest which you want to pursue could be crypto could be ar could be vr could be machine learning could be cloud systems distributed systems databases anything you are excited about so for me it was machine learning and ai and uh, i took up courses on machine learning i took up a course in advanced machine learning so 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 that brings to your fourth year so third year you can start exploring these topics and do whatever you want but in fourth year uh, which i am going to talk about the road map if let's take a case study of machine learning so for machine learning the first two components are linear algebra and calculus typically all the colleges have these courses as a part of their first year curriculum and some what you would have learned during your engineering entrance exam preparation also so maybe you can just revise that for refreshing your memory you don't have to repeat a course you don't have to take up a formal course on machine learning ai 
uh, sorry linear algebra and differential calculus uh, to uh, to progress in machine learning and ai anyway once you have done that then you can pick up any good course online so i personally like the course by andrew ng this is coursera's course and this course is uh, they, they, it uses a programming language called matlab no i think not matlab octave sorry so it uses a programming language called octave and it helps you learn the concepts of machine learning using octave programming so octave is very efficient in the sense that they have predefined matrix multiplication libraries and all which save your time so that you can focus on core machine learning aspects uh, so it teaches you all the algorithms from uh, from from linear regression to let's say neural networks k means clustering support vector machines so you get a get a good idea and also the course has a couple of projects i think one project that i remember is on mnist dataset handwritten uh, handwritten digit recognition so at the end of the course you can put that on your resume by the way again like i mentioned earlier don't bother about certification it doesn't matter don't don't spend your money apart if i mean if it's 1000 2000 rupees that's okay but more than that i would highly not recommend going for a certification i've seen some students apply for some 20000 rupees certification it doesn't matter focus on learning the concept focus on solving problems focus on building a project and being able to explain it and that's all that matters in your interview uh, when you are applying for a job nobody cares if you have a certificate i mean don't think that if you have a certificate you know it well and the interviewer will uh, sort of uh, give a tick mark to you on that if they ask questions and you can't answer your certificate is worth nothing so so that's a broad road map of the four years i will summarize first year focus on the basics of programming the for loop while loop uh, objects functions classes second year focus on data structures and algorithms third year focus on mobile app development web development uh, and some other core concepts which will be a part of your college curriculum and fourth year focus on some specialization that you want could be machine learning ai and stuff like that so so that forms a good road map uh, by the way if you are not a computer science student even then you can follow this road map by taking courses in the description i am putting link to one of the articles that i wrote long back on how can non computer science students build a career in tech so i hope this video was helpful feel free to post your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below feel free to uh, ask questions and also i'm i'm open to suggestions if you have any other thoughts on videos that i should make which will help you build a better career please post it in the comments and i'll pick it up in one of the videos thank you and all the best